Okay, so this is the first part of a uh, tutorial um, for network model creation with NetLogo. And the first thing to know before uh, starting to, to code is to, to know where you can find the documentation of NetLogo. So uh, this is the, um, the address of NetLogo, of NetLogo documentation. You just type NetLogo in Google and you type, you, you fall on the website of uh, Northwestern uh, University. So uh, everything you need to know is into these pages. So um, there is two ways uh, to start learning NetLogo. Uh, I would strongly advise you, if you have the time, to look for the, um, the library of uh, models in NetLogo. So you go under the File menu, Model Library, and you have a lot of very simple, um, but sometimes very complex models. And um, the basic of uh, the programming language of NetLogo can be better understood if you, if you start directly to see what the code do. So uh, I will start with a very uh, simple um, model, that is the Boyd's model. Uh, maybe it goes form. Uh, no, it should be under biology. Um, for example, flocking, yeah. Flocking is a very simple uh, model that creates um, schools of fish or swarms of bees and uh, flocks of birds. Um, a little an anecdote, maybe, uh, the battles in Lord of the Ring movies have been made with pretty much the same kind of models. Not like this, but uh, they have programmed the behavior of every uh, orc and human that are fighting, and by putting together all this behavior, they, they just uh, managed to simulate uh, the battles. Also, there is a very famous scene of a Lion King movie from Disney uh, when Simba is in, the, is in the canyon and there is a gnus that are uh, running down the canyon. Uh, the, this animation has been made with a multi-agent system uh, following the basic principles of this model. So, uh, enough anecdote. Uh, we start by uh, plotting, uh, clicking on Setup button go and uh, you will observe that uh, the, the agents will start uh, to, to forming some groups uh, by aligning uh, one to each other and um, trying to make a cohesion between the group and uh, you can see that uh, after a few steps uh, we are at uh, 130 steps the boys are forming flocks and in fact you can you can influence the dynamic of the system by varying the parameter values so here I have increased the minimum separation between two uh, between two turtles so the triangles here are the turtles and if I increase a lot this parameter, you see that the Boyd's uh, formation, so uh, turtles are called Boyd's in this case, as the model is called Boyd's, but you can see that, uh, them as uh, fish in, under the sea or birds in the, in the sky. So when you increase minimum separation parameter, uh, there is no flux, but if you decrease these parameters, the, the birds have to fly close to each other and the, the swarm will begin to form. So this is just a toy example to see to to show you that uh, during the running of the model, you see the, the button go is uh, kept uh, clicked. You can uh, vary the parameter values to influence the dynamic of the model. So there is a lot of parameter to test, and you can play uh, with that and. You can have a look at the code, so I won't describe the, the code in detail here because it's not a network model, but you can see that the code is very short and uh, the thing it produces is very sweet for such a short amount of code. 
So, okay, um, basically, we will have to do um, code here with, with, by typing some commands and uh, seeing uh, the results into uh, the interface pane. So, uh, as I was saying, uh, this is the second way, the, se the, the first uh, way to learn NetLogo is by uh, looking for uh, models of the model library in uh, the in the topics that you are interested in and to, to see how the model is built. The other solution is to um, read, read the documentation by starting um, by the tutorial one here that is uh, very detailed and uh, tells you all the vocabulary to use. I strongly advise you if you're interested in NetLogo to, to do at least the, the three first tutorials here, so models, commands and procedure. Then the final page to know is the NetLogo dictionary, so um, the, the keywords of the programming language are kept in this uh, web page. You can um, you can browse these um, these keywords by categories, so keywords for total patch, uh, file manipulation, plotting, links. We are very interested into in, in, in this part because we are doing networks, but there is a lot of other categories to 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 look at. So. Yeah, two things. Uh, look at the models that you find interesting. There is a lot of beautiful models. So I will put uh, the sunflower model. It's very beautiful, for example. Um, okay, so uh, browse the simple models to see how they were done, but also look at the documentation, especially uh, the keywords uh, will tell you how the function work and how the syntax have to be written in order for your NetLogo code to uh, to work. Okay, so that was uh, the introduction of uh, NetLogo manipulation and the next video we will begin to build our network. Thank you.